Hi and welcome to SQL Injection Master Course. Now looking at out this topic, some of you might be overwhelmed that hey, this is the course we are wanting and we are going to learn a lot. Now you are perfectly right. This course is a real depth just into one topic that is SQL injections. Now in order to understand the SQL injection, first of all we need to understand what is this SQL and why it is being so much of trouble for the web developers and quite other people and why it is so much of favorite for all the penetration testers which are out there or you can say hackers. But before starting this course, I would always always recommend use all the things which I taught you in these courses and some other courses for the well-mannered, ethical and with morals. So I expect this from all of you and for the pen testers, I expect you to always, always be with the legal aspects. So with this, let's start our great course that is SQL Injection Master Course. Now, in order to understand the SQL Injection Master Course, first of all, we need to understand what is this SQL Injection as this course is not at all about teaching you the basics of SQL. This is all for the hackers or pen testers. Now, according to the Wikipedia, it says, when I asked Wikipedia what is an SQL injection, it says me the very good answer. That is, SQL injection is a code injection technique used to attack data-driven application in which malicious SQL statements are inserted into an entry field for execution. Now, this is perfectly right. and But the problem out here is very simple. It says too much of theory but less of the practicals. Now, in, a, in order to understand the SQL injection, we first need to go through with the practical aspect and all the time in the course, I'll be going through with a lot of practicals. But first, let us understand what is the problem because it is not like you are going to inject any string and database is going to reply for it. So let us understand where is the problem. To understand the problem scenario, I have depicted a very good diagram that will help you to understand the basics about the injection. But once we'll move on to the practical aspects and our lab setup, you will understand each and every bit with much more clarity. So be patient with me. So first of all, let us understand how a web actually work because SQL injection is mostly on the web driven technologies. So here is our insider, which is actually being relaxed by implementing a firewall here and a firewall here. Now here is actually the web applications look like. Here is our hardened OS, the web server. On that we are running our application servers. And with that, the connection is being made to our custom codes. Now it can be of accounts, finance, administration, your logins, quite other details out there on the custom code. Now when this custom code is being made, after that here you can see there is a database. And all the legal system, web services, directories are being made. So whenever a request from an authentic person is being made, the firewall actually allows it to reach through the hardened OS. While uh, this yellow hole that you are seeing out here is a loophole in the firewall. Now, to be perfectly honest, this is not at all a loophole. This is being an extra exception being made in the firewall through the port number 80 or port number 443. Now, once a request is being transferred from this yellow hole, it is being reached to the hardened OS that is here and via that it reaches to the web server application server and after that the custom code is being uh, treats all the things which is being right or not and once everything is correct it again reaches to a firewall and again of course we have to make an exception the firewall to the port number 80 and 443 because without that the accept the request cannot be transferred again to the database and uh, regarding to our queries what query we have made the database actually replies to a legal and authentic user. Now what happens when an attacker does all these systems? Whenever an attacker tries to make out all these things, he also makes the same attack via those ports, which are 80 and 443. Now, since firewall cannot do anything, because if you'll block that port on the firewall, what will happen? I know. I hope you can guess it around. If a firewall blocks a port number 80, that means you are not able to access that website. And a website which you cannot access is not cannot be called as a website. So here is the simple problem scenario, because attacker always tries to inject everything via port number 80 or maybe port number 443. So depending on the firewalls, it is not a perfect solution. And this is actually we are going to take in a much deep manner in the entire course. So I have 
you have got a quite much better scenario what is SQL injection and how it works out. So the attacker will perform the same things via the port number 80, it will pass through, bypass through the firewalls and will reach out to the custom code. Sometimes we will trick out the custom code but ma many times we, will, we don't even require to trick it out and after that the final the database is actually going to manage all the things for us and it is again going to reply from all these hardened OS and everything via to directly to the attacker on the web page. Now this is really a troublesome and scary one. So let's start our course and deep dive into the SQL injection master course and thank you so much for watching.